Are you ready to discover even more about the hidden gem of Harpers Ferry, West Virginia? Buckle up as we delve deeper into the pros and cons of this historic town, uncovering its unique charms and potential challenges. I'm Kristen here with my business partner, Hannah. We talk to people each week who are considering moving to West Virginia and want to know what life is like here. When we discuss Harpers Ferry, know that we're referring to the 25425 zip code, which also includes Bolivar, Shannondale, parts of Bakerton, and more. While the area's natural beauty, economic stability, and small town charm make it an attractive destination for many, it's essential to weigh these factors against potential challenges, such as overcrowding, higher prices, and lack of public transportation. Harpers Ferry isn't for everyone, and we're gonna lay out the positives and negatives for you today so you can see how you feel about this popular Jefferson County destination. Finding the right home for you is about identifying your needs now and in the future. It's not merely about perusing listings or zooming in on Google Maps. It's about uncovering a place where affordability meets comfort and where you can truly unwind at the end of the day. Hmm, my home doesn't seem that relaxing anymore. Is it time for me to move? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with what makes Harper's Ferry truly great. The area is well known for being a tight-knit community where many residents gather around the local watering holes and share stories. One of the standout features here is the abundant access to parks and outdoor recreation. Imagine spending your weekends hiking along the scenic Appalachian Trail or kayaking down the majestic Potomac and Shenandoah rivers. With breathtaking views around every corner, outdoor enthusiasts will find endless opportunities to connect with nature and rejuvenate their spirits. But that's not all. Harpers Ferry and the surrounding areas boast a median income that's higher compared to the state of West Virginia and the U.S. averages. In 2022, the U.S. Census estimated that the median income in Harpers Ferry District was above 93000 much higher than the West Virginia estimated median income of a little over 55000 The unemployment rates in Harpers Ferry region range between 2 to 3 percent and on the lower side in the more populous regions. This economic stability provides residents with a comfortable standard of living and contributes to the overall well-being of the community. In addition to financial prosperity, Harpers Ferry offers modern amenities that cater to the needs of its residents. High-speed internet is readily available in many areas, ensuring seamless connectivity for remote workers, students, and anyone who relies on online services. That's pretty much everyone, I think. Yes. <laughs> and let's not forget about the perks of home ownership in Harpers Ferry. Property taxes tend to be low compared to its nearby neighbor, Virginia, making it an affordable option for those looking to settle down and invest in their future. With a high rate of home ownership, residents take pride in maintaining their properties and contributing to the town's vibrant atmosphere. In terms of pricing, in the Harpers Ferry region, based on stats from the past year, the average home sold for between three hundred and fifty dollars and 400000 If you're looking to lease a home, Depending on your needs, things can vary widely, with monthly rent ranging from $675 to $3,500 a month. So on average, you're looking at about $1,500 a month. With many jobs going partially or fully remote these days, this area has become more popular as it's much more affordable than some of the nearby cities in Virginia. But it's not unthinkable to get to Northern Virginia or Maryland a few times a week if you need to. Of course, check those commuter routes or consult us for insight before you sign anything. If you're ready to get out and explore Harpers Ferry, click on the link in this description to get your free copy of our Harpers Ferry Visitor's Guide. And if you're finding our videos helpful, it would mean so much to us if you'd give us a like or a subscribe. As our channel grows, it will help us dive even deeper into delivering valuable content for those of you thinking of moving to West Virginia. All right, now that you've fallen in love with all the wonders of Harper's Ferry, let's shine a light on the cons. We're not just going to tell you what's great about a location, we're always going to be the voice of reason and try to talk you out of a move if it's not going to be a good fit. Precisely, we're here to be your long-term guides, whether or not you decide to ultimately move to West Virginia. We know realtors all over the country and we also sell real estate in Northern Virginia. So you can reach out to us for realtor recommendations or questions about other areas as well. Back to the downsides. While the influx of tourists brings life to historic Harpers Ferry, it can also lead to crowds, especially during peak seasons. Navigating through the bustling streets and crowded attractions can sometimes test the patience of the locals who yearn for quieter moments amidst the chaos. Of course, it's pretty easy to avoid historic Harpers Ferry if you want to, unless you live right in the middle. And if you do want to spend time there regularly, you can plan to go during off hours. If you want to have easy access to popular trails like the Point or Maryland Heights, you could also plan your home search so that you can walk or bike to these areas. Another challenge that prospective residents may encounter is the limited availability of homes for sale in Harpers Ferry. With its desirable location and tight-knit community, properties don't come on the market as frequently as in other areas. 
This scarcity can create a competitive environment for buyers, requiring patience and perseverance in the house hunting process. Over the past year, there were 180 home sales in Harpers Ferry. By comparison, nearby Charlestown had 518 home sales. Yeah, and that might not be all of them because some of them are new construction and off the MLS, right? True. Yeah, so mm -hmm. lots happened in Charlestown. <laughs> also on the housing topic, the price of living here is fairly on par with Jefferson County, which had an average home price of 400,000 over the past year. However, Harpers Ferry, much like Jefferson County, is priced a bit higher than nearby Berkeley County's average price of just over 300,000. Don't let the housing scarcity or pricing scare you off though. We're always here to help you plan ahead and overcome potential obstacles with real estate. And the earlier you tell us about your plans, the easier it is. We often have access to off-market properties before they even list. This is how my parents got a great deal on their home in Shepherdstown nearby. While some residents commute to Maryland or DC using the MARC train, it's important to note that the options for public transportation are very limited. The MARC train runs weekdays on a commuter schedule at the time of this filming in March 2024. If you're someone who relies on buses and trains to get around, this would not be a good location for you. Despite these challenges, Harper's Ferry continues to captivate hearts with its timeless charm and picturesque surroundings. Whether you're drawn to its rich history, outdoor adventures, or tight-knit community, there's no denying the allure of this historic town nestled in the Appalachian Mountains. The decision to call Harper's Ferry home requires careful consideration of the pros and cons that we've already talked about. If you're feeling good overall about the area, it's time to dive into the top five neighborhoods in Harper's Ferry to explore your options. Ultimately, whether you choose to make Harper's Ferry your permanent residence or a weekend getaway destination, one thing is certain, this historic town holds a special place in the hearts of all who visit. Until next time, we are Kristen and Hannah with West Virginia Total Resource. See you soon.